Inside EVs has just reported that Japanese automakers have made record profits over the past 12 months. And because of those record profits, they're now going to invest all that money into making next generation electric cars with solid state batteries. Now, there's so many falsehoods in that title. I'm going to have to say, you know what? It's time we clear up some of the bullshit. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. The publication says that Toyota, Mazda, Subaru, Nissan, all the Japanese automakers have made record profits over the past 12 months, and they're going to pour that money into manufacturing EVs because they're saying that EVs, this is what the report says, are the future, and the demand for EVs is going to skyrocket over the next five years. Now, not a single one of the Japanese automakers has made any of those comments whatsoever. They're completely fabricated. I don't know why they've said this. Uh, we need to be careful here. We don't want to put these amazing statements into the minds. I mean, it, let's say you were planning on investing in someone. You want to invest your money. And then you read this publication and it tells you, oh, all these automakers are really all into EVs now. There is not any evidence of this happening. Now, there is evidence of investments into EVs. But to say that a single Japanese automaker is really taking EVs 100% seriously, like they're saying, that's categorically false. Now, that's the first falsehood here in this article. The second is this. Did any Japanese automakers really make record profits? Well, I mean, yes and no. Now, technically, you might be able to read balance sheets. You might say, well, some of them did. Now, some of them did not. Toyota did. Other companies technically didn't. But anyway, here's the thing. This is just false information. Here in Australia, if I was to report some of this stuff, I can get fined $400,000 because I'm simply making up garbage. The truth is here, one, inflation. We need to factor in inflation in companies' profits. If we factor in inflation, did all those companies make an actual profit? Well, yes and no. Now, if we factor in inflation and the other vital metric here, which is devaluation of the yen, which leads to a short-term profit and a long-term loss, then, well, technically, you could say they made record profits. But if you actually have a look at what actual qualified fund managers and analysts are saying, that the massive devaluation of the yen is a short-term profit, but a long-term loss, like I said. So, yes, sure, it's a nice short-term benefit. But it does not mean that these companies are in a great position. They're not. I mean, Nissan's debt is currently rated at junk. The only major automaker in the world with debt rated at junk. You know how hard it is to get new loans at reasonable rates when your debt is rated at junk? It's challenging, to say the least. Now, getting back to this idea that these Japanese automakers are heavily investing all these massive profits into electrification, the truth is that um, they're not. I mean, yeah, they're investing some money into building EVs, but the reality here is this concept that they're investing into these massive electric car production is simply not true. There is no evidence of this. There is evidence that they're going to make some EVs, but not one of them plans on having an even 50% electrification by 2030. It's not really taking EVs all that seriously, is it? Now, this other idea that they're going to have solid state batteries, as Inside EVs claims, uh, in the 2025, 2026, 2027, EVs with solid state batteries, there is not a single Japanese automaker that actually has a solid state battery they're willing to show the world. Now, they're all making these claims, and they've been making these claims since 2013, that solid state batteries would be in their EVs. By 2018, they originally said, then they said 2019, then they said 2020, then they said 2021, 2022. In 2022, they decided to forget about that idea. Now they've gone back to it. And now they're saying 2026, I'm guessing they'll do the same thing. Because if they really did have a viable solid state battery, do you really think they wouldn't have told us at least some minor detail? We have no details. We have no energy density. We have no battery chemistry. We don't know how many layers are there in these solid state batteries. I mean, this is the kind of information that we do have from solid state battery manufacturers in America. We have actual information on what these batteries do. We have no patent information from these Japanese car manufacturers on their so-called miracle solid state batteries. Do you really think that those batteries are legitimate? I mean, they could be, but no one actually knows. Absolutely no one, except for maybe a few people working at those companies. Anyway, guys, I really think it's important that we are realistic here. We don't want to send people the wrong message. The message is this. Yes, there are car companies that are taking electrification seriously. Is it Japanese car companies? Not really. Thanks for watching.